The U.S. Supreme Court will hear a major abortion rights case next fall. The decision could have a huge impact and effect on the historic Roe v. Wade ruling. Correspondent David Spont has details tonight from the Supreme Court. Five decades after the landmark Roe v. Wade decision, abortion rights could soon be rolled back significantly. The court agreed to weigh in on a Mississippi law that would ban the procedure after the 15-week mark, before viability, when a fetus can survive outside the womb. This is a blatant attack on Roe v. Wade. This is a 50-year precedent coming out of the Supreme Court um, that has laid down the law, and yet we continue to see uh, an increase in attacks on Roe. The White House responded to the news with a presidential pledge. The president is committed to codifying Roe, uh, regardless of the, the outcome of this case. Oral arguments in the case are scheduled for the fall. Courts around the country have blocked enforcement of similar laws, citing Roe's precedent. When you really drill down on this, public opinion would be very favorable towards this compassionate law that's going before the Supreme Court. Last summer, Chief Justice John Roberts sided with the liberal wing of the court in striking down abortion clinic access restrictions in Louisiana. He joined Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, the court's strongest champion of abortion rights. Swear. Ginsburg's replacement, Amy Coney Barrett, a devout Catholic who in her personal life has made clear her anti-abortion stance, though publicly she said her personal feelings won't mix with work. This case signals hot button issues are welcome at the court. The justices will soon hear cases on gun control and executive power. Affirmative action and immigration challenges may soon follow. They're starting to gather momentum and the very, very conservative majority on the court is, I think, headed in the direction of a, an absolutely blockbuster uh, term next, next year. The court likely won't make a final decision on this case until about a year from now, but pro-life Americans are feeling confident, Brett, because three justices appointed by President Trump currently sit on the bench. Brett. David Spond outside the Supreme Court. David, thanks.